Do you want to take your stream to the next level with this bad boy? It's completely controlled inside of OBS, meaning you can edit all the sources without needing to know how to code or anything. You just need to know how to use OBS. I'm going to walk you through installing it and troubleshooting steps if you have any issues at all. Did I mention? It is completely free too. Let's get into it. Put your rocking for the stone. Heyo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Uh, there are a few important things I should mention. This product and the other stream up products only support OBS 28 and above. If you haven't upgraded yet, I'll leave a video up here and in the description on how you can upgrade without any issues. Trust me, it's easy. You will also need to have either Sammy or StreamerBot as these are the only tools we are supporting right now. It goes without saying, these should be all up to date too. Jump into our StreamUp website to download the product, hit download, then it will take you over to our coffee page. We would love it if you considered putting in a dollar or so as it will go a long way in supporting us making these incredible products for you. If you cannot afford a dollar, you can just put in a big fat zero in the box, then proceed to download the product for free. The first thing we need to do is install everything that's in folder one, just here. And we've got the San Francisco font. So double click into that. It'll open it up on your web browser, scroll down and go to download. Just get it all installed. It's pretty simple to do. And then we're gonna open up the StreamUp plug installer. So this basically will allow you to update all your OBS plugins that we use for the StreamUp products. It was made by Silverlink, it's awesome. So hit download and it's gonna take you to our coffee page. Please consider banging in a dollar or something like that just to support us and all the content that we make and all these products that we provide and then hit down um, add to cart and then download it. If you need help installing the, the plugins from the plugin installer and everything like that, there is a video just there that'll do everything for you. So once you're happy with that, we can then go back and go into OBS. Once there, we're going we're gonna to press tools and then we're going to go to stream up we're going to navigate to the folder that we already downloaded which is the ios notification classic go to folder 2 and choose the dot stream up file that then is going to create a new scene inside of obs which if we click it you can't really see too much going on just here but if i right click on the classic scene and go to filters and i press move on you'll see it actually does something which is pretty cool I'm going to leave this to one side and we're going to add this scene now to another scene. So we're going to go to say, I don't know, it could be anything. It could be a just chatting scene, literally completely up to you. We're going to press the plus sign on sources and we're going to choose scene. Once there, then you can select the iOS notification classic. And that is it. It's added it to this scene. Press move on and you'll see it'll appear just at the top of the screen like so. There is other ways that you can add it as well. If you press the plus sign on the sources, you can either add it as a source mirror or a source clone, depending on what your preference is. Even using a DSK as well, completely up to you. Installing this in Sammy is nice and easy. Just hit bridge on the left hand side, press install and extension. Navigate back to the folder iOS notification classic, but this time we're gonna go in folder three hit Sammy and then select the .sef file. That's gonna create a new deck just inside of Sammy. Double click to open it. Don't worry if it says it's missing images, it's absolutely fine. I'm gonna right click the main button and press edit init variables. So this is gonna be our settings page. We can set this style to dark or we can change it to light. It's completely up to you. I personally prefer dark mode. Let me know in the comments if you prefer dark mode. Uh, it'd be good to know. The next one is we can select ignored users. So you might not want your bot to uh, actually appear as a message as well. So we can press, uh, if we want to add another one to this list, we'll do a comma and then press enter, open speech marks and type in bot name, close speech marks and that is it. When it's the last one, you don't need to add a comma. You can make sure you've done it right by pressing validate and it'll say whether or not it is valid just there. So I just hit save and then press save again, like so. And then now when I go back to OBS, I just do my first message, hello there. You'll see, it'll say hello there, which is a really nice little addition for to welcome people into your stream. 
Installing this into StreamerBot is nice and simple too. We just need to move StreamerBot to one side. We're going to be using the import function. But to do that, we need to navigate to the folder in our file browser. Go to folder 3, bot install, and choose StreamerBot. And you'll see the .sb file just in here. Back in StreamerBot, press import, and you'll have this import string section. We just need to drag and drop it into there, and it should add it like so. But for some reason, if you're not able to drag and drop it, just double click the SB file, open it in Notepad, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and just paste it, and it should show up like so. Two actions and a queue. We're just gonna press import, and we're ready to go. Then jump across two platforms, go to first words, which is under Twitch, events, general, first words, and select animate. And then I'm going to press reset so I can actually test it because I've already spoken in my chat today so it won't work otherwise. And if I do a test message, this is a test message. It will appear on screen. It'll say Andy Lippy says hi with this is a test message. Just another nice way for your viewers to interact in your stream. If you are running into any issues at all, don't worry. We have a Discord server. You can find the link in the file you downloaded or on the StreamUp website. Just join and search for the product in the different channels. Each product has its own forum. This means you can search through the posts to see if someone else has had your issue and if not, create a new post. Please be as accurate as possible and provide screenshots so we can actually help. If you like this product, then tell YouTube and press that like button. Also subscribe as there are tons more products on the way. Speaking of, check out this playlist full of stream up products. See you over there. Put your rug over the stone.